Veterans Day insights for you. Hi, Matt Noyce, the deeper dive into meteorology. First and foremost, thank you to all of our veterans, those of you who have served, who are serving, family of those who have served or are serving. Danielle and I thank you on behalf of our family and so many more like us from the bottom of our hearts for all you have done to keep our country safe and our families safe. You know, here's what's going on for us in the forecast. I'm going to talk about short-term wind because there are still brush fires burning, so that's pretty important. Raphael's decaying in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll talk about that and how it impacts our lowering rain chances for Thursday. Also, there's mostly seasonable air after we get through Veterans Day. And speaking of that, that's the most important part of the forecast, right? For all of our services honoring our veterans this looks like a very good day overall. Temperature's going to be going up into the 60s for us here. Mostly cloudy skies in the morning. I'm going to show you the rain that comes through tonight, gets out of here in the very early part of the day, and most of us don't rain again as Monday wears on. Notice the gusts Monday morning still going 30, 35 miles per hour out of the southwest, and then dying a little bit during the afternoon. It looks like as we head into Tuesday, the gusts pick up all over again. There's a cold front that comes through Monday night. So now it's a northwest wind on Tuesday, and a gust going 35 to 40 miles per hour. Obviously, both of these things play into fire spread. The changing wind direction from Monday to Tuesday is important, and the increasing wind speed on Tuesday and gusts is important as well. Here are the showers that are coming at us as of this Sunday evening recording. Again, expecting this to snap through. The back edge is already into Buffalo, so it won't be long before it's through us. That's why I say early on Veterans Day, you're going to find the back edge of the rain moving out for us here. Generally, one to two tenths of an inch of rain, a little bit more when you get down to the south coast, more like a third of an inch. It's not a lot. It's not a drought busting rain by any sense of the imagination, but it is at least making a difference for us. You can see on the timing too, here's that back edge starting to come in. And so once we get to Monday morning, I'll stop it at 5 a.m. timestamp in the upper left back edge coming into the Pioneer Valley. By eight or nine, it's already swept through Boston. You've got just a leftover shower. The sun is breaking out. And by the time we get to later morning and midday. It's a blend of sun and clouds. It's in the 60s. It's beautiful. Uh, Northern New England may get another shower to pop. And actually, Monday night into Tuesday morning, some rain showers change to snow showers up across the mountains of the north, a little coating of snow possible in the far north country. That's a backup cold front that's coming at us on Monday through us by Tuesday and allowing for brand new cool, dry air to build in. And you can see it here too, right? You've got the cold front associated with the system on Veterans Day morning. That's what ends the rain. The colder air doesn't really come in right away. It waits for that backup cool front. There are the snow showers Monday night to early Tuesday morning up in the mountains. And here is that next shot of cool, dry, fair weather that moves in. We've been talking about a rain chance on Thursday if some of the moisture from Raphael could get grabbed. But you might remember an insights at the end of last week. I told you that trend was starting to back off because the moisture got left behind. That still looks to be the case. Thursday now, it looks like increasing clouds, but the showers probably hold off. Maybe you get a shower Thursday night, Friday. It's not an overwhelming chance. It's not a lot to get excited about either in terms of making a difference. And a big part of that is because Raphael now is forecast to just basically sit over the Gulf and it's weakening. It's drifting down to the south at this point. So this is not going to be a big player, which means it's not really going to have a whole lot to contribute to the overall setup here in terms of precipitation. Just so you know, Mariners, you've got kind of a rough and tumble time coming on the water. It's not terrible during the course of Monday with that southwest breeze, although it's certainly bumpier when you get out south of Nova Scotia. But watch this. You start to bring that northwest wind in on Tuesday. You go seven-foot seas at Wilkinson Basin, eight feet at Jordan Basin, nine and ten feet when you get out by George's Bank. We keep going Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, 11 and 12-foot seas, seven feet at Wilkinson Basin still on Wednesday afternoon and slowly coming down as we get into Thursday. But you get the idea. It's not going to be the safest sea out there in the coming days for us here. Land lovers, at least you get 60s again on Veterans Day. It should be very nice feeling for you, even with a bit of that breeze blowing northern New England in the 50s. Get ready for the new installment of air that comes in. It arrives overnight Monday night. You've got that gusty northwest wind we looked at, the wind gust forecast for Tuesday. And when you figure that in with cool air, it'll feel like the 30s Tuesday in northern New England. It'll feel like the 40s at the warmest time of the day in southern New England, even though actual highs come to between 50 and 55 degrees. Sub-freezing, real solid freeze overnight Tuesday night for all but the Cape and the immediate south coast. Wednesday, stuck in the 40s. It's dry. It's fair. Uh, Thursday, the clouds increasing. The rain likely holding off. The temperature's still in the 40s for us. Let me get out of the way of the 14-day. You'll see we really don't bring a substantial chance of rain in here for Friday at this point. We'll keep an eye and see how much moisture can sneak in. But generally, next kind of bona fide chance of showers now appears to be next Monday after the stuff we're dealing with tonight. And then you get into the end of next week, maybe again. The big thing that stands out to me is the temperature, right? After Veterans Day, yeah, you're pretty much just running in the 40s or 50s. Very seasonable for this time of the year all the way through the rest of that 14-day. Grab the app if you haven't yet. Noises One Degree Outside Weather app on the App Store 
and Google Play. That's how it looks for now. Again, wishing you the best of Veterans Day. We'll be with you in the early morning. We'll get that early morning update out one degree outside today, the 24-hour forecast. But next insights will come up for you again on Tuesday. All the updates at OneDegreeOutside.com.